Well, welcome back. I'm going to pick up where we left off and uh, continue to explore Wheeler's Security Risk Management book. And what we're going to be doing over the next three videos is looking at Chapter 3. So we're going to be talking about the risk management life cycle. And what this specific video is going to do is introduce the topic and talk about the uh, risk environment. We'll then move into a pretty detailed look at risk management life cycle going through all the phases really in one video and then we'll finish up with a kind of a, 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 a terminal video that looks at the process owner for each of those life uh, cycle steps all right well, let's dig right into it and let's look at the risk environment we're going to start with one of my favorite cartoons uh oh, i guess it's on the next slide but here's the kind of uh, overview of what we're going to be talking about and the different uh, steps that are involved in the risk management life cycle a uh, 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 process. And there we go, that cartoon all the way over on the right, one of my favorite cartoons, in terms of capturing in risk management the idea behind an asset, a vulnerability, risk, and threats. Why are we doing this? And, and, and the reason is, in the area of technology, all of these things exist. We have assets out there. It may be technology, it may be people, it may be processes, maybe an educational approach. Those things have vulnerabilities. Those vulnerabilities change all the time. Uh, it's a very dynamic field. In this case, it's the balance. That's what the weakness is. Uh, it may be a software application. It may be a, a data technology. It may be your people falling victim to an a, a attack. The risk is what happens when you've got a threat coupled with a vulnerability coupled with an asset. So if you don't have the asset, you're not going to have risk. If you don't have the vulnerability, you're not going to have risk. And if the crocodiles aren't down there, if that's just a, a cushy area to, you know, you're jumping into uh, marshmallows, <laughs> it's probably not going to hurt you. And so that's this idea of risk. And risk management is how do we manage that risk? How do we make decisions about that risk? And that's what we're going to be uh, talking about in this series of uh, videos. And as the, 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 the kind of... Um, Art over on the, the left-hand side dictates risk is a moving um, target. You've got lots of things that are occurring. You may have a change in the information that's stored on something. The threats may change in the background. Uh, the, the regulatory environment, be it HIPAA or FISMA or, or, or FERPA may, or PCI, may change. You may change your security policy or your risk appetite. And all of those things lead to this management of risk being always ongoing. All right. So uh, having uh, covered that, I'm actually going to finish it up because now you've got the environment that we're working in. The question becomes, how do you manage life over the life cycle of that risk? And that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. So this concludes the first of three videos. Next video is going to pick up, be a, a little bit longer, actually a lot longer, and we're going to talk about risk management life cycle.